Welcome back to Harville. So why are people carrying loaded guns to presidential events these days? And what message are they sending? John Vel Velico is the director of federal affairs for the Gun Owners of America. He's sitting right with me. And Brian Levin is the director for the Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism at California State University. He's also author of the book, The Limits of Dissent. The constitutional status of armed civilian militias. Well, I assume you gentlemen will disagree. Let me ask you the question. Uh, people bring guns. Right now, they've been doing it a lot. An, an AR-15 assault rifle was brought to an event the other day. At one event, there's a dozen people, armed people, at a, at a presidential event. I've stated my concerns. If you're in the Secret Service, you've got to keep an eye on everybody with a gun because they could use it. You never know. They're allowed to carry the gun, but you've got to look at them when they're carrying it. We're going to need one hell of a lot of Secret Service agents if people keep doing this. My question to you, why do they bring loaded guns to presidential events? Why do they do well, it? Well, first of all, Chris, these are law-abiding citizens. No, but why do they do it? I think they're making a statement. The gun owners have been uh, demonized and vilified for so long and the target of so many restrictions and legislation to take away their guns, restrict when and where they can carry them. And they're making the point that, you know, we're, we're tired of the government trying to take our rights away. And it's, it's not just about health care when we go to these town hall meetings. It's, it's a bigger issue. And what is the bigger issue? that the government wants to take away a lot of our freedoms. And, and uh, the Second Amendment is high on the list. When this president uh, campaigned last year, he campaigned as a supporter of the Second Amendment. When he came into office, uh, he quickly turned the table. Didn't he back the decision to give it, to give recognize the individual right to bear arms? He said that he did, but as soon as I mean, as after he, it happened this year. <clears throat> yes, but as soon as he took office, he... No, but this year he did it. After the court ruled, he said, fine with him. Yeah, he said that he supports the individual right to, to keep and bear arms, yeah. but he also supports legislation that would take that right away by banning so-called assault, assault weapons. So you don't think they should be banned? No. Okay, let me go to uh, Brian Levin. What do you think, Brian, of people bringing loaded pistols or, uh, well, semi-automatic rifles to presidential events? Well, look, this is not an issue about the Second Amendment or gun rights, and here's what I mean. Antonin Scalia, in the opinion of D.C. versus Heller last year, which affirmed an individual right to private gun ownership, said, look, the Second Amendment is not unlimited. It is not a right to keep and carry any weapon whatsoever in any manner and for whatever purpose. And I think it's absurd that we should have guns now as jewelry or as a political sign when we have a fundamental right like gun ownership in the United States as covered by the Second Amendment. The government is still able to make reasonable measures with regard to restricting it. And I think for presidential protection, it is entirely reasonable to extend the perimeter that guns are not allowed. And I think we have to do that because it's just too risky for our head of state, irrespective of whether it's George Bush or Barack Obama. The fact of the matter is the Supreme Court has held five to four that private gun ownership is a fundamental right but by the same token we can regulate it and i think in this regard we must and the gun owners of america has always taken extreme positions and used deception they said recent measures by the administration were going to ban bb guns or toy guns or uh, or ban reloading they engage in fear tactics and deceptions and i think okay. that should be exposed here as well well let's focus on the presidential issue where how close do you think a person should be allowed to bring a gun john to a presidential uh, pre well, a president when he's coming out in public how close well, should he be allowed to bring as one? close as the secret service will allow them no no i'm asking it. you you said it's a fundamental right how come how far should we let it go suppose you go into a big high school gym somewhere and president obama or president anybody is having a town meeting should they be allowed to walk in the door armed or should we well, have metal we detectors the right of the people to no keep should you, they be allowed to come into the president's company sit in the first row with a loaded gun I've been at events. No, with I'm asking a question. Former governor of Arizona. No, we have should that very situation? people be able? Look, you get, suppose the president has a town hall meeting with 10,000 people at some high school gym or college field house. Should everybody in the place be allowed to have a gun? Everybody in the place that if the president speaks. If it's legal speak. to carry guns in that location, absolutely. So it's fine with you. Fine with yeah. Fine with and, you if everybody comes in the room with a gun. Yeah, and, and I would actually feel more safe if people, law-abiding citizens, who use guns over a million times a year successfully... In how, would a for, how would a Secret Service agent know which of the people who came to a presidential event intended to use the gun? How well, would the, they know the which person? Service responsibilities how would they know which one? Well, May they I know interject? They have no, no, no. I want to, then you can interject. How would sure. they know which person intended to use it? Because most people bring guns with a purpose. It's either self-defense, if somebody fires them, or they feel threatened. Mm -hmm. They may feel threatened by a president they don't like because they think he's after their gun rights. Well, I don't think that's the, the type of people we're dealing with here. Oh, someone mean, how like do you that, know? If someone like that, you were, said it's these law by you're one of those citizens. people. If, you said the president's trying to take away your gun rights. If a criminal shows up at a president, no, 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 no. Like a, a law-abiding gun rights advocate like you right. shows up with a gun, 
you don't like this president's position on guns, do you? No, no. So why would you be particularly trustworthy in a situation carrying a gun with the president, president? Because gun How owners... How would we know that you wouldn't be a true zealot and take that gun out? Because gun owners in this country are the most law-abiding segment of okay, society just by definition. Yep, by definition, absolutely. if a person buys a gun, they're law-abiding. But they follow the law. Oh, there Therefore, are, they, there will are, not use it, they will not use it criminally. There are criminals who use guns, and, and that's a, all the I'm more reason. I'm asking you a simple